the purpose of this circuit was to design a logic circuit that will detect a paper jam in a copier and implement said design on the digital logic boards field programmable array. Now, a paper jam is indicated if two sensors out of the three sensors that detect uh, paper's position in the printer are both consecutively detecting the paper. That means that the paper is uh, basically folded in two directions at once. So both sensors will go off, but only if they're consecutive must the jam detector go off. Now, that, in other words, in more circuit-related terms, if, uh, if switch A and switch B, or if switch B and switch C are both directing, uh, are both uh, detecting a, a piece of paper in their area, then a buzzer and an LED must go off. Now, the appropriate gates were used, and this is a circuit using a flip-flop to deal with the button as well. Oh, the button, by the way, is, is it's a reset button that, that turns off the buzzer after the paper jam has been removed. Now, this is the physical representation of the copy jam. As you can see, the paper will go through underneath here and turn on one sensor at a time. Now, let's say two sensors are on at once. That indicates copy jam. The buzzer goes off, and so does an LED. Now, this LED will go off at the bottom, if you can see there. Now, that goes, the LED goes off automatically after the paper jam is removed, but in order to turn the buzzer off, you have to press the reset button, which is over there. Now, these other LEDs simply represent different inputs, and they are very useful for troubleshooting. This is the this is by the way was used, used was created using a VEX kit, and you can see the circuits for the different switches connect to resistors. So not pull them out. There you go. You see the connections. These are the different inputs for the general inputs and the general outputs and the button. And there you go.